Hi, Trish McKinney here, and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you a real quick technique on how to wreck a painting. Um, seems kind of weird to do that, but this is a painting that I absolutely don't like. Um, I did another one that I went on to like better. It was a commission, but I felt like these were overworked, and so um, I just didn't like it for one reason or another. Um, so going to show you, you need to take a painting that you have absolutely no commitment with. Um, so, real quick, I'm going to show you. Turn it um, probably upside down. First thing I do is, not probably, I am going to turn it right upside down. First thing you do is kind of assess things that you like. Um, I kind of like... I like these shapes. I like the color transition. Um, and other than that, I'm not sure. So I'm probably going to cover it up. I'm going to be using a product from Golden, uh, Golden Gesso. And I like to pour it into one of these bottles that has a squeeze tip on the end. I'll be using sponge rollers that you can get at any craft store. Uh, might be using one of these credit cards. Catalyst makes a wonderful um, rubber like spatula thing and it's good for mark making. I'm also gonna be using uh, my soon to be released stencil from Stencil Girl. And this is the prototype, and it's a grid that I drew myself, and I'm really excited about it. So, you can see that. And I'll probably be using that. I might use this, which I also drew out by hand, and it makes me think of cheesecloth and I'm really excited. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna probably um, pour some of this out in a little um, plate. I always keep a styrofoam plate around. This one has dried acrylic on it, so it's okay to use. I'll just squeeze it out. I'm gonna start by probably Covering up, use a bigger one. Covering up a lot. I may end up covering up a lot of this. And the thought behind this is that at the end of it, you're gonna have something you really like. The whole thing about this is that you need to Always be assessing what you like and what you don't like in a painting. I like some of these passages of red and yellow. Not the whole thing is all. I like using a roller because it forces you to um, make a commitment and you'll be more likely to cover more up. You can also use a credit card and do some similar things. Sometimes I just squeeze it on and I allow the random shapes to create nice little shapes here and there. I can also use my little spatula and do some similar things. Notice how I'm, I'm varying the uh, way I do it, direction, moving my arm. You should always do this process standing up. Okay, probably do a little more over here. And probably do this over here. And then I'm going to do this over here. I really like how this is moving. This is a great stencil to show movement, rhythm, and also a little bit of geometric. I'm gonna use this right in here because it's a nice dark. Yeah, like that. 
And I like some of these checks that are going on that I had painted on the shirts of those girls. So I'm going to leave them. These two stencils go really nice together. Oh, I like that. Let's see here. You should always do that when you're painting. You should say nice things to your paint. Oh, I like that. Don't you look pretty? Things that you would say to your children, right? You want to nice, tell them nice things because it helps with the process. And I will, on the second stage, use this again with color and acrylics. But it's nice to kind of build up some layers on here. I'm also going to take the credit card and just do some really nice aggressive marks, which I'm not sure you can see over in the edges. So just finishing it out. And covering that up. And that is how my friends and fellow art journeyers you wreck a painting and I will be back and show you the second stage once this is dry I hope you enjoyed it